understand something with these particular, you know, Claremont twins and women like this. Again, I have no issue with these people. I just see a sad case that people want to ignore. People want to ignore what they see. And what I see is that you have self-hate out here that is becoming more and more prevalent every single day. But they want to ignore it. They want to act like this is normal. No, this is not normal. This is going to affect the youth. Imagine if these girls had children. Their children are going to see them. And they're not going to look anything like their mothers unless they're biracial. But even the biracial children aren't going to look like them. Because that woman doesn't look like herself. She does not have confidence in herself. So here you have, you have melanated women who have chosen to be other than themselves, but then they want to blame us for why they are doing it. How can you not look yourself in the mirror and say, you know what? I'm the one who's messing up. I need to do better. I need to stop blaming everybody and just, you know, get some therapy, get some counseling, learn to be around people who actually love themselves instead of being around people that don't love themselves. We see it every day right here on this platform. You already know who don't like themselves. You got women, you know, they got so many issues, man. I mean, the issues that they have, I mean, <laughs> they got issues that are well beyond anything that they could ever uh, come on this platform or others and talk about or advocate for because they haven't advocated towards getting some type of psychological help. Now I want y'all to, to really understand me, man. I want us as, as individuals to really look ourselves in the mirror and really fix who we are because we are a suffering group of people. When you have women who look like this suffering group of people, suffering and again i understand that problems go deeper and and i'm i'm going to expand on it because everything ain't about what we see now we got to look at the upbringing we have to look at the fact that you have women who've dealt with mental issues abuse when they you know all types of it i mean males have dealt with it too but that's what help is for. That's what therapy is for. That's what saving your soul is for. You need to save your soul. We need soul saving. Make sure y'all like the stream. Young girls are looking up to these women who are doing this to themselves. They want to be just like these women. That's why as soon as they turn 18, they get OnlyFans. Or they, you know, are doing other things. Because they see their, their favorite, you know, influencers doing it. Right? So they say, you know what, if it's good enough for them, it's good enough for me. But again, when it comes to dating, when it comes to relationships, the market is oversaturated. There's not enough room for all of y'all women. I did a video today about Michael Blackson and his girlfriend breaking up. They've only been dating for a couple years, but she wants to be single again. She broke the news that they had broken up because she wants to let everybody know she's single and available. She's ready to get it in this summer. She's ready to be in these streets. You got all these women that want to be in these streets this summer. But what happens when you don't want to be in the streets and you have all these problems, all this self-hate? Because when you are a melanated woman, now I'm correct me wrong, the Claremont twins may be mixed biracial, I believe. But even if they weren't, 
they're all trying to be what they think is the perfect woman body wise, skin tone wise, hair wise. They're trying to be that woman that all men want. But what a lot of women have to understand is that men have different tastes. We don't have the same tastes in women. You walk outside, most women are going to be dating the same type of men. But if you walk outside and you see who men are dating, men are dating all kinds of women. Women with different body sizes, women with different skin tones, different ways that they wear their hair. Some may have tattoos, some may not. Men have different tastes in women. Men have different, we don't have the same taste in women. You know, we're not dull. We don't, we don't just want the same thing, you know? Uh, well, I, I believe other guys, though. I'm just, you know, just from what I observed, a lot of these guys and what I've heard from guys, they don't really pursue just the same type of women over and over, right? They're willing to go and date women either different women of different you know, skin tones, different body shapes, different ethnicities. Women are not. I mean, they will. I'm not saying they won't. But women like to date similar guys. Like I, I saw a video on, I saw a video on Worldstar. I may do a stream on it. It might be a whole stream in itself. You know, there was this guy, I guess this girl's ex-boyfriend. She was in some store parking lot, some gas station parking lot, and he hopped on her front of her car and stared at her and was beating on the window and it hopped off and start trying to get into the truck. Her new boyfriend was filming on the passenger side laughing. No, don't understand. He might be putting himself in a dangerous situation. She drove off, right? Then the dude put the camera on himself. The dude, the new boyfriend looked just like the old boyfriend. Both of them are darker complected males with dreads. So we know that this female has a type, you know, that's why these women fall for, that's why these women fall for a lot of the quote unquote ain't shit guys, because they have a type and they keep, even though there are red flags, because these women are so stuck on having a type, they end up falling for literally a guy who looks and probably acts just like the old guy because they have a certain type. Us as men, we don't. So when you see women do all this to try to look like Kim K or a clone of her, you got to understand men have different tastes. We don't have the same taste in women. Like we don't. So when y'all do all this and you still don't get the men that you want, that's going to make them even worse. It's, it's going to make it's going to make that that mental health even worse. It's going to it's going to make you want to do more to change your body unnaturally. Because you want to be who you think men like. But then you end up still single, still struggling to find somebody. The dating market is completely oversaturated. And a lot of these women don't understand this. A lot of y'all are going to be single probably for a while now. Y'all getting out of these relationships you were in because you think you're going to be, it's going to be a hot girl summer. But it's going to affect you. And also when you're going and you're getting the surgeries and you're lightening your skin and you're trying to look like Caucasian women, it's only going to affect you negatively. No positive in that at all. But it's your it's your life, you know. You make the choices, but you know, just because you make these changes does not mean that you're going to be able to get the attention from the men that you want. Because a guy may like blondes one day, but the next day he may like brunettes. And now you've done all this for what? Because men don't a lot of men just don't have the same taste in women. A lot of guys are willing to date out and they're willing to um, change it up. A lot of women don't, which is why a lot of them are still single. They're stuck on having a certain type. And if the guy ain't a certain type, then they don't, they just, you know, 
staying in place. And that's why these women continuously be in dysfunctional, toxic relationships because they're out here chasing a type instead of getting their minds right. Which is what is more important, you know, getting their mental health together. It's a lot of mentally unstable women out here. And the problem is they're procreating. These women are procreating and they're raising children the wrong way to be nothing more than self-haters, people who do not respect themselves and have daddy issues. You don't want your daughters to be that. But these young girls have nobody else but this to look up to. And that's the sad part.